I am Garifuna. I was born in a very small village in Honduras, in, in Travesia. And I was very much influenced by my great-grandmother, uh, Isabella Rochas, and my grandmother, Nicolasa Arzu. Our healing practices are spiritually based, and, and everything that we do, um, making medicine, harvesting plants, planting them, communing with the earth, uh, fishing, um, everything includes some sort of, of healing ceremony and some sort of invocation of the ancestral spirit. So we don't work alone in, in anything we do. And even if, if you are physically alone, you know from the bottom of your soul that you are not that you never walk alone because you have all of these ancestors with you. So our ceremonies are many and uh, they involve different rituals, which I will talk about um, further on in this series when it becomes appropriate. But for now, I just wanted to give you um, just a, a little teaser, if you will, of, of what it is we're about. For us, healing is reconnecting the the human life with their lineage with the lineage to yes other human beings with their lineage to the creator with their lineage to the earth where they fit in 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 all the different kingdoms that occupy this planet and where we fit in in, the, in this very existence which of course includes what we are doing here uh, in this in this incarnation in this lifespan so what a healer does um, to, to consult with the ancestors to find out what it is that the the flaw is like what's missing and then get the wisdom and uh, the knowledge all the information we need from from the field of the ancestors to know what we have to do so being a healer isn't just something that comes out of your mind we can't go around just touching people and making it up. Everything we do, we have to consult with the ancestors. We consult with them as to what the cause of the ailment is, and we also consult with them as to what the remedy is. So we are merely instruments of, of data transmission. We're just transmitting this data. So that's what I do. Um, that's what I, I I learned to do, that's what I was born to do, and I do it willingly and joyfully, and um, I want to share it with you. So exactly who are these ancestors? We all have different definitions, and I don't know what you've heard, and I don't know if you've heard this before, but from our perspective, the ancestors are the two people who produced and introduced the necessary genetic material at precisely the right time under the right circumstances for you to be here today. You got that? Two people. So, how many ancestors do you have? Let's try to solve this mystery. So, who are the ancestors? The ancestors are the descendants of the two people who had to come together at the right place at the right time to exchange the necessary genetic material for you to be here today. So welcome. And, and that's where Garifuna people work from. It's from that perspective. So if you go back to the time of um, Charles Darwin of, or uh, Abraham Lincoln, you'll find that over 250 people had to have come together at the right time, under the right circumstances, and successfully breed <laughs> in order for you to be here today. It's, it wasn't easy. The journey for you to be here was not easy, and we understand in our culture that we could not have done it without the help of the ancestors. And if we take it a little bit further, if you go back to uh, the time of the Mayflower, um, 16 generations ago, you'd need twice as many people who have had to come together 
to successfully reproduce for you to be here today. And it goes on. If you go back 20 generations, you need 1,048,576 people to have had to lovingly and successfully breed for you to be here today. So where are these ancestors now? What happened to them? Well, for us Garifuna, we know where our ancestors are. We know exactly where they are. And they are accessible to us anytime we want, anytime we need, because we walk with them. The hundreds of thousands and millions of ancestors that we each have walk with us. Our ancestors are in Seiri. And Seiri is that, that imaginary line where the earth meets the sky. Seiri is where all of our ancestors live. So when we conduct ceremony, we purify ourselves, we do an herbal bath, we examine our thoughts, we seek counsel, we pray, we play drums, we dance. We prepare ourselves. We raise our vibrational frequency in every way we can so that we may access Seiri, so that we can enter Seiri and commune with the ancestors. We request their presence, and we do that through either a buye or a chu tao or, or some kind of mediary between the worlds. So our ceremonies are comprised of rituals that are traditional to us, that help us access the wisdom of the ancestors. It's not just one person. It's thousands, maybe millions. And in there may be a very particular ancestor who would choose to come, depending on what we need. And that's why Garifuna people are so, we, we are so uh, reverent about our ancestors. And we are very serious about our ceremonies because our ceremonies give us direct access to the wisdom of our ancestors. And these are people with our DNA. These are people who know us. We carry their chromosomes inside. So the idea of accessing them is very, very real to us. And when they appear and when they download wisdom into us, when they exchange data with us, we trust it, we know it, and we know it to be true. So a lot of people ask, um, how do you know that those are your ancestors when you summon them or when you pray for them or when you go into ceremony and these spirits come? How do you know that it's them? It's very easy. They know us and we know them. It's something that you feel. Because we share so much, we, we, we share uh, the same vibrational frequency, you feel their godliness. You feel their holiness. You feel their love for you. They come in love. When we summon our ancestors and they arrive, it is the love. It is the love. It's the vibrational frequency of the love that tells us that it's them. So there's no way of mistaking it because everything we do is in loving energy. Our ceremonies bank on loving energy, and that's our only clue. And when they arrive, when the ancestors arrive in a dugu or in a chugu, or um, even if, if they just come to us in dream time, what we feel, when that connection happens, what, that love that you feel, it never leaves you. It never leaves you. It can last you for years. So yeah, we're not bothering them every day and all the time, but when something um, goes awry in a family, when there's a lot of suffering in a family or there, um, there's disunity, 
We call on the ancestors. We perform ceremony. And it's the love that we open ourselves to. It's the love that they bring that just dissolves all of, of the division and, and brings us back together. And can you imagine, there was a time when our spiritual tradition was frowned upon, where they called it demonic, they called it everything that was not of God, and I cannot think of anything more godly than love, especially that love between people, between relatives, with, between families. In giving up our spirituality for other traditions, we have given up so much. We have opened up the doors to, to unknown sufferings. It's horrible stuff. And that's why I wanted to share with you uh, who we are and what we do, because there may be still people out there, some people are even Garifuna themselves, who have been convinced that our spiritual tradition is not of God. And you couldn't be wronger. Because anything that is of love is of God. And that is what our ancestral tradition is about. Communing with the ancestors is opening up our lives to the type of love that heals everything. 